Uh, it feels great. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a great showing today. Um, a lot of kids came out. You know, we had great coaches. It's just a great feeling to come back to Bluffton. You know, during this time and to be able to throw my first camp. Um, really, honestly, a lot of my peers, a lot of the, my teammates that I look up to that's older than me, um, you know, I just see how they do it and the impact they have on their communities and the things that they do. So I knew it was going to be something that I wanted to do. It was amazing. Um, you know, it's, these, are, these are young kids that was out here today, but it was, it was really inspiring just hearing them talk about specific plays, um, hearing them talk about, you know, the stuff that I don't normally think about, you know, even though they're younger, you know, it was just, it was just a great feel all around. Um, I would just say just getting exposed to different things. You know, it's a it's a smaller community over here, um, obviously on this side of Indiana. Um, and I feel like the, the toughest thing for me just, you know, moving up levels was this exposure of everything. You know, so that's why I wanted to bring the coaches that I brought out here for my, my um, college um, and just have them be exposed to different people from different backgrounds for this and for that. So I, I feel like that'll be the biggest thing. Um, honestly, just just being a part of it, you know, it's, I, it's a crazy life that I'm living right now. Um, but any chance I try to get back, you know, I always try to do something, do an appearance, um, go to Brown Sugar, my my family's business, or just something like that, just to be involved with the community, um, just to just to inspire. It's great. Um, every time, you know, it's the uh, the road coming in, it just feels like home. You know, you know, I spent a lot of time here, so it just it feels great. Um, I'll just say just persistence. Um, you know, everybody, you know, you can't really depend on anybody else to give you validation of what you're doing. You know, you got to grow within yourself and understand that you put in enough work or you, you did everything you needed to do so that you can be successful wherever that is. Um, so I say, I say persistency. Persistence. Um, I would say it's, just been, it's been major growth. Um, you know, the, the NFL isn't easy. You know, a lot of the times, you know, a lot of people watch, watch the games and think it's an easy game. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting to where I need to be. You know, um, the guys on the team, you know, being great teammates, I'm being a great teammate now. So it's just, it's on the up and up, and I'm very excited for this year. You know, this is going to be the year that I really make a name for myself. Um, really, you know, honestly, I wouldn't change anything that's happened. Um, I've, I've faced a lot of adversity um, with injuries, with stuff that didn't have anything to do with football. So I just, I got, I have a strong callus now, you know, to be prepared for anything, you know, to, you know, just be the person that I am now. I feel comfortable with that just from going through so much adversity. I feel great. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm in shape. Um, I feel like my body is, is holding on. I've done a lot of a lot of things to learn more about my body, you know, did a lot of things with different people to help me learn as well. So I feel like now it's, you know, I feel centered. Uh, really just being a professional. Uh, you know, everybody gets to the NFL and thinks the, you know, the, the process of how you got here kind of stops. And I think that's one of the problems with the NFL, um, with that mindset. But those guys, they come to work every day. You know, it's not it's not a day where they're not in there at the at 5 a.m. doing whatever they're doing. You know, so I just try to follow along and apply whatever they're doing with their process to my process. You know, so, yeah, those guys inspire me on a daily.